let's have some practice. What I suggest you do here is uh, have a go at each question. Just pause the video, have a go, and then have a look. Press play once you've had a turn. So first up, 8AB to the 6 by 5B to the 8. Pause it. All right. So 8 fives are 40. We times the big numbers together. There's no more A's. So just the albino nature once. And then I've got six lots of black and another eight. So I actually have 14 pieces of black genetics on this baby. Over here, you pause it again. Now you've had a turn. Okay, so three twos are six. X to the seven. So we've got seven lots of whatever the X genome is. <laughs> And another one over here. So if there's no number written in, it's got an invisible one. So that's x to the 8. Here. Now, when I throw all the bunnies in, of course, I just do the same thing and just get a mixture of everybody because we never know who's what. I know, I know it doesn't really work <laughs> like that in real life. But we just pretend, right? And the whole idea of analogy in maths is to help you remember stuff, not to make it actually make sense in science, at least for my stories. 5, 6 is a 30 times the 1. There's an invisible 1 in front of this y squared. So 30 times 1 is still 30. Now I've got 4 and 3 and 2 of the y genetic. So 7 and 2 is 9. Now notice all I had to do is add the 3, add the three and then take that number and add the 2 after that. Over here, 9 times 3, the big numbers, 27. X has got a 1, so there's one of them here and two of them there, so 3 all together. And there's one Y here and 3 here, so 4 all together. So the number at the back, the index number, actually counts the timesing, whereas the number at the front in algebra, so say 2A, that means A plus A. Number at the front counts the adding. Multiplication is a shortcut for addition, whereas the number at the back counts the timesing, and that's because powering is a shortcut for timesing. Okay, now I've got a negative thrown in here. This is just a negative number. It doesn't mean I'm minusing right now because there's nothing in front of it. It just means negative 2. So I go negative 2 times 3 times 5. So neg 2 times 3 is neg 6. Neg 6 times 5 is neg 30. All that happens with negatives is when you times by a negative, it goes negative. And if you times by another negative, it goes back positive. So A times A, so there's two of them and another 2. So A to the 4, B. Over here, same thing. The action here is times. So I'm still thinking about bunny rabbits because if I've got a times and a minus sitting side by side or even two symbols, you always look at the first symbol and go, that's the action here. So while I'm looking at the action between these as times, I think bunny rabbits. I do my usual bunny rabbit thing. Big numbers multiply together. That negative just belongs to that three. The negative never belongs to the thing in front of it. So if there was a number here, that minus still belongs to the two and not whatever was sitting there. Uh, back over here, m to the 7, m to the 5, that's m to the 12 altogether, timesing up. Here I've got an example of a minus number times another minus number. There's my action there, so this is just a negative. Neg times a negative makes a positive, and 4 twos are 8. An x here, an x squared there, so cube altogether, and a y there and a y squared there, so cube again. You notice also with the powers, the same way the minus only belongs to the 2, the power of that squared only belongs to the x. The y, when it has a power, has it here. Over here, I've just got a's multiplying together. So with no big numbers in front for my bunny rabbits, I'm only going to get one rabbit out. So I've got a rabbit. They're all a's, so I don't have to deal with any other letters. I've got 4 and 3 makes 7, and 2 is 9, and 1, 10.